guys. It's been a minute since I did one of these little videos on here and thought it'd be super fun to come on and do a showing off clothes I hope to fit into after I lose weight. So here we go. I think we're going to blast through some of these. Um, and there's some stuff that I'm just unpacking from this tote when I was going through it that I want to keep, but they're just sentimental, not clothes I hope to fit back into. So you'll see me tossing some stuff in here, but I just want to show some of them off. Um, so here we go. Uh, okay. This is a hoodie I hawked for my brother when I was a high schooler. Love it. It is a size. Doesn't say. But I think it's like a large. Um, and I loved it and I wore it all the time. Um, yeah. So I have this hoodie that I want to fit back into. So there's that. This is a sweatshirt that my mom gave me that she bought when she was um, younger, when she was in Disneyland. Um, and I've always said that if I lose uh, 100 pounds, I'm taking myself to Disneyland. So... I plan on losing that weight and hitting it up, man. So, woo! There is that. This is just another sweater that my mom had that she wore growing up that I love. I got this hoodie when I was going to Utah State. Um, go Aggies! So, I love this hoodie. I think it's really cute. Wore it all the time. It's really comfy and would love to fit back into it. It is a size large, I believe. Medium. Medium. So it's a small guy. We'll see if I ever put back into that. I would love to be a large again. Large is like my happy size. <laughs> this is a shirt I wore my senior year of high school, sophomore or junior or freshman year, wow, of college. And for the first little bit after I was married, I would still wear it now if it fit. Love the macrame little top right here with the cute layered ombre blue. Love it. This is a shirt that my dad gave me that he bought when he was a teenager. Um, I helped rebuild the Mustang with him. Um, and it is a 66 Mustang. Kind of looks like this one. Um, and he gave me this when I was growing up and I wore it all the time as well. So I'd love to fit back into that. Um, and then with that same Mustang, we were in a car show when I was in high school. And they gave me the shirt. And so I think it would just be fun to fit back into it. Because when I fit into the shirt, I thought I was fat. So funny how your mind does that kind of stuff and tells you otherwise when you're not. So there's that. This was like my favorite shirt that I wore for my engagement pictures. Um, and wore it for a little while after I was married. And then when my PCOS um, really flared up and I outgrew it, I cried the day that it didn't fit anymore. Um, love, love, love. The like lace macrame type look to the top um and then this little layered again bottom so there's that this is just a shirt that i think is cute that i've always wanted to fit back into um some swim shorts i bought that i always wanted to fit back into this is a shirt my mom got me one year that i just wanted to fit back into when i was in high school i was also the football manager um and this is just a really nice windbreaker that they got me uh, to wear to the games. And I wanted to fit back into it for when it's raining and I'm on the mountain now. So there's that one. And I have another one too. This one is a quarter zip and this is a full zip. And I would love to get back into either of them and be able to put them on and zip them up. This one I can wear, but I can't zip up. So there's those. And then this is a shirt I got and wore on my honeymoon a ton. I actually have tons of pictures of me in this dress or in this outfit shirt. Wow. This shirt on my honeymoon is another gold shirt of mine just to be able to have pictures to look back on. Um, this one is from when I got into Utah State. They gave this to me at orientation. Um, love it. Um, still a big Aggies fan. I would love to fit back into that one. Um, let's see. I have another Aggies shirt from when I was accepted into the school that I want to wear again too. Um, it says I'm an Aggie and that's where I went to school 
for college for the semesters I went. And if I ever go back, I will go back to the extension. So um, these shirts are all shirts that I wore through high school and my so or freshman year of college that I loved and would love to just fit back into them again. Um, so I have this little guy that is this blue, this striped one that has this fun little mesh pattern on it, and this lace detailed blue top here, and then this one with a really cute ruffled neck, um, not even ruffled, but leveled neck with the lace detail as well. Then this is the shirt I wore on my very first date. I always thought it'd be fun to fit back into that one as well. With, and again, the lace detail. If you can't tell, I kind of have a thing for lace. Um, let's see, this is just a shirt that my mom gave me that I'm holding on for sentimental reasons. Let's see. This shirt, I don't ever think I'll fit back into. It'd be funny if I did. But I was in Susical the Musical my um, ninth grade year. And so I'm holding on to it mostly for sentimental reasons, but you can find my name on here. And so that's why I have it. And it's just fun. Okay. My brother is going to Utah Valley University. I almost went there and they gave me this shirt. So I'm holding on to it so that when he gets home, I can wear it to be like, yay, go UVU. Um, just a fun trip. This is the Roxy jacket that I have loved, 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 and wore all the time when I was in college and my senior year of high school. Everybody has a good Roxy jacket that they love. Um, obsessed with it. Bought this hoodie on my honeymoon. It doesn't fit anymore. I would love to fit back into it just because it's sentimental and because you can never go wrong with having lots of good sized hoodies. The classic Air Apostle shirt that, or jacket that everybody has. Uh, everybody owned one of these at least once. Really comfy jacket as well. Again, just want to have all the jackets. Um, this is a jacket that my grandma got on a trip to Australia where she served her mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, and she gave it to me because it didn't fit her and now it doesn't fit me. And I'd like to fit back into it. So have that. Let's see. This is another item that if I lose 100 pounds, I'm going to wear to Disneyland. My mom bought this for me. Because um, Tinkerbell used to be my absolute favorite character. It has these really fun, like, details of Tinkerbell. And then it had that really fitted, fun sleeve. And then the really tight fitted sleeves were like my favorite thing. So this is like my favorite jacket. It was so comfy. Somehow I managed to survive, and even though it's white, because I had a tendency to like destroy the white things. Um, this Tinkerbell here and here. Love it. Um, let's see. I sewed both of these items in my clothing class, and I think it'd be fun to fit back into these one day. So here's my pajama pants that I sewed. And then I also sewed this skirt. Um, it's got this really fun top, um, like thicker band with belt loops so you can put a belt on it. I also made sure it had pockets because pockets are a must for me. And then it has a zipper in the back and I always wore it with like a black belt and it was really cute. So would love to see if I can fit into that one day. And then these hoodies, so fun story. Um, I worked at a outdoor store when I met my husband um, at the time. He was obviously not my husband um, and I really wanted him to like me and uh, he's a hunter. So I got a discount on clothing from the store. So I went and bought myself a green Under Armour hoodie with the camo and then a pink Under Armour hoodie with the camo. Um, I think it'd be so fun to fit back into them because this was like my like mm, <laughs> hoodies that I wore around him to get him to be like, obviously that's not what sealed the deal, but I think it kind of like sweetened the deal a little bit. Um, this was a skirt I also wore all the time my senior year. 
all the time, all the time. It is a large, it has these fun, again, the layers. You guys can tell that I love layers and I love lace. Um, and I always wore a black tying ribbon around my waist and that was fun. Um, another hoodie with back to back state champions for football when I was a football manager. That was super fun. Um, let's see. This is just a sentimental shirt. This, I designed this t-shirt. I was part of choir council, which is like the SBOs, the student body officers of choir my senior year and I was the VP of wardrobe. So I designed our choir shirt. So it has this and then it was really popular. Um, the time when everybody was doing the keep calm and blah, blah, blah. So we did keep calm and sing on Bingham choir. Uh, this is another shirt that I got when I went to start at high school there. Thought it was super cool with the, in the weed bleed blue. Um, okay. And then the fun ones that I think are just super fun to look at. I have my dresses from when I was in high school for dances. Um, they're falling off the hanger, but this is my homecoming dress. And then I have my sweethearts dress. This was one year's sweethearts. And then this was another year's sweethearts dress. Um, the tie goes around the back, obviously, but it has these really pretty roses. And again, the layers. <laughs> and then I just bought a couple of these. They always say like never buy clothes when you're trying to lose weight and you're having weight loss surgery, especially because it'll just like fall right off. But these are free because the store was closing here in town. So if you fill the bag, you got, you spend $20. So I hit my $20. So everything else I grabbed was free. So these dresses were free. Um, so there's this fun kind of like, I was a little iffy on this, but I actually love it the more I look at it. Again, it was free. So I was like, yeah, sure. On um, this cute top here with the elastic waist and then this fun little flowy bottom print. Let's see. Also got this skirt, which is also fun that has pockets and ties. Um, a really cute shirt. Another flowy little dress. A, let's see, that one's the 3X I can wear now. A couple of these are things I wear now because they're my size. Um, this I can't fit into right now because my butt and my fupa is a little big. But it's one of those weird adult onesies. <laughs> but it's to be able to wear and it doesn't come untucked in your clothes. I thought it'd be super cute to get this and then wear high-waisted jeans and some really cute flats with it and a hat. And then it has these cute little, like, I call them tulip sleeves, like this, it's split, but high-waisted jeans, I think would be so cute. And then this is another kind of grandma e dress, but I'm obsessed with it. Um, so it's this satiny dress, this is a little large. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but it has these really cute frilly sleeves here. And then it has a cinched waist and then the little frillies along the bottom. And I was like, this would be so perfect with a cute little flat brimmed hat. The hat and then um, cute little sandals and like run through a field of wildflowers during the summer. Perfect. Okay. Um, so... These are just like my white dresses from my church with growing up and stuff. Um, when you are born, you have a blessing dress. So that's this. And then when you're baptized, you have a dress here when you're eight. And then I have my wedding dress. But my last other ones I want to show you before we show the wedding dress. This one I bought. Um, me being the National Parks junkie that I am. I'm going on a trip to the Yosemite Valley in August, which will be about, let's see it. For eight months or four months after surgery. Um, my surgery is scheduled for April 12th. Wow. Um, and so this will be about four months. So I'm hoping I'll be able to fit into this guy before then because this is an extra large. I am currently a 2X, 3X. So I should fit into this by then. 
Um, but it's this really fun, like, terry cloth. And I thought it'd be perfect to put over the sw a swimsuit to walk down to the pool in. Um, and to just relax and have fun in California in the sun. So, that was definitely a big goal of mine to fit into there. And then this is the famous rebel dress. Um, if you can ever heard about my shenanigans growing up. Um, the day before my 18th birthday, <laughs> there was a dance. And I had always bought, like, modest, modest dresses. Um, didn't want to ever be immodest. And my mom always made sure I got modest clothing as well because of, for religious reasons. And the day before my 18th birthday was this dance. And my mom was like, oh, you can just go get your own dress. So I did. And I was like, well, I turned 18 the day after that. So if they want to get mad at me and kick me out, I'm 18. <laughs> It is not even that bad, guys. And I thought it was so rebellious, but it's called the Rebel Dress. And it has these black sleeves that are only three inches wide. <laughs> and it was when the peplums were really popular. So it has this cute peplum midsection here. And then it's got a short little um, body bottom here. And it just like accent in my booty and my I'm a very like curvy gal when I'm skinny too um so I just hugged all the curves right the peplum sat perfectly on my hips I bought these really cute lace tights and pumps and a chunky, neck chunky necklace I wore with it and rocked it um and my husband still thinks it's like the like most attractive dress ever I've never been able to wear it for him because I've never been um the size I was when I put it on and I had it so that is a goal dress of mine. But then the last thing that I want to fit into is my wedding dress. So I would love to do a video of wearing my wedding dress again. I think if I remember right, so when I was married, I weighed about 210 pounds. Um, so I think this is about an 1820 size dress, maybe 16, 18, but it has this really pretty beads gems on top um with the lace and then this really pretty the lace detail i'm gonna go slowly down the dress here so we have the sash then we have these pretty lace and you can see the dots on there and then as you get down there's more lace and then there's really oh this thing is huge this really pretty lace trim along the bottom and I would love to get back in this dress so those are like my goal clothes they say that you don't want to buy clothes as you're losing weight because you'll just fall right out of it again and you'll be wasting money so I have my in-between clothes set aside I'm probably going to just live in sweatpants for the first several months as I'm losing weight and skirts and dresses so <laughs> it's exciting I'm excited I just found out today that my surgery is the 12th of April it was supposed to be the 23rd with well it was told to me by my insurance I was gonna be the 23rd and now it's the 12th so I have less than well today is the fifth so I have one week till surgery and I'm super excited so anyways that is all my goal clothes and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day. It is spring break in Utah, so I'm going to go and enjoy it before I have surgery. So bye.